call the City of Muskegon City Commission meeting for February 28, 2012 to order. I'd like to welcome George Monroe from Evanston Avenue Baptist Church to lead us in prayer to be followed by the pledge. Mr. Monroe. Shall we pray? Our dear Heavenly Father, again, we thank you for this opportunity, Lord, that we can gather here, Lord. We thank you for our mayor and our manager and our commissioners, Lord, that you would protect them at all times, Lord. Be with us, uh, meeting, Lord, and the decisions that have to be made, Lord, that they will come mostly from you, Lord. And we'll give you all the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If I could ask everyone to remain standing for just a moment, and if you would join me as I lead us in a happy birthday greeting to our clerk, Ann Cummings, today. So, if everyone, please follow. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ann. Happy birthday. Very much. Actually, we sounded pretty we darn sounded good. I, I was surprised. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, thank you, Mr. Monroe. Appreciate you being here tonight. Roll call, please. Vice Mayor Galron. Here. Commissioner Waringo. Here. Commissioner Turnquist. Here. Mayor Warmington. Here. Commissioner Hood. Here. Commissioner Spataro. Here. Commissioner German. Here. Thank you. And we'd like to welcome Commissioner Longmire, our county commissioner. He's here this evening. Commissioner, thank you for being here. Consent, may we have the consent agenda read, please? Approval of minutes, city clerk, summary request to approve minutes of the February 13th work session meeting and the February 14th city commission meeting. Staff recommendation, approval of the minutes. Fireworks display permit for the Shrine Circus, city clerk, summary request. Jordan Productions Incorporated is requesting approval of a fireworks display permit for March 2nd and 3rd at the L.C. Walker Arena. Fire Marshal Metcalf has reviewed the request and recommends approval contingent on inspection of the fireworks. Staff recommendation, approval contingent on inspection of the fireworks. Amendments to the Zoning Ordinance, Planning Economic Development, Summary Request. Staff has requested the following amendments to the Zoning Ordinance. Amend Article 2 definitions of the Zoning Ordinance to include definitions for brew pub, microbrewery, Brewery, small winery, winery, small distillery, and distillery. Amend Article 11, B2, District Section 1100 and Section 1101 of the Zoning Ordinance to allow for brew pubs, microbreweries, small wineries, and small distilleries. Amend Article 12, B3, District Section 12 and Section 1201 of the Zoning Ordinance to allow for brew pubs, microbreweries, small wineries, and small distilleries. Amend Article 13, B4, Section 1300 and thir Section 1301 of the Zoning Ordinance to allow for brew pubs, microbreweries, small wineries, and small distilleries. Amend Section 1304, B5 districts of the Zoning Ordinance to allow for brew pubs, microbreweries, small wineries, and small distilleries. Amend Article 14, L1, District Section 1400 of the Zoning Ordinance to allow for microbreweries, breweries, small wineries, wineries, small distilleries, and distilleries. Staff recommendation to approve the Zoning Ordinance amendments. Committee recommendations. The Planning Commission unanimously recommended approval of the request at their February 16th meeting. Rental Registration Exemption, City Manager, Summary Request, to approve an Ordinance Amendment to Chapter 10, Article 6, Section 10351, Registration of Rental Dwellings. This amendment would exempt certain dwellings that are not owner-occupied but are occupied by certain relatives of the owner from the rental registration requirements of the ordinance. Staff recommendation to approve the ordinance amendment. Thank you. Commissioners, you have heard the consent agenda read. Are there any items you'd like to have removed for further discussion? Question here. Um, Commissioner Chairman. This is for the uh, February 13th, right, um, work session, minutes? Is that what that was for? Because I thought... If that's so, um, I was looking at, I found a mistake because uh, when it says present, my name wasn't on there. 
or present for that session. All right. All right. We, when, normally when we find those, if we just call the clerk's office oh, and just, let them know, okay, but okay. We'll, we'll go forward and finish that because okay. sometimes in the transition, okay. phone rings and you forget where you are and you type it in. So oh, right. yeah. thank okay. you for pointing that out. <coughs> okay. Commissioner Spitar. Thank you. Uh, I would move that uh, we approve the uh, consent agenda as read with the change noted on the work session minutes. Second. Been moved by Commissioner Spataro, supported by Commissioner Waringo to approve the consent agenda read with the changes made to the work session minutes. Is there any discussion? Roll call, please. Commissioner Waringo? Yes. Commissioner Turnquest? Yes. Mayor Wormington? Yes. Commissioner Hood? Yes. Commissioner Spataro? Yes. Commissioner German? Yes. Vice Mayor Gowan? Yes. Motion passes. Thank you. New business, item A, please. City of Roosevelt Park Water Agreement City Manager Summary Request to approve a new water supply agreement with the City of Roosevelt Park. The previous agreement expired last October. Staff recommendation to approve the proposed agreement. Thank you. Vice Mayor Gower. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I would move that we approve the uh, proposed agreement with the City of Roosevelt Park uh, for the uh, water uh, agreement. Second. Thank you. Been moved by Vice Mayor Gowron, supported by Commissioner Waringo to approve the City of Roosevelt Park water agreement with the City of Muskegon. Is there any discussion? Roll call, please. Commissioner Turnquist? Yes. Mayor Warmington? Yes. Commissioner Hood? Yes. Mr. Spitaro? Yes. Mr. German? Yes. Vice Mayor Gowron? Yes. Commissioner Waringo? Yes. Motion passes. Thank you. I would like to commend the City Manager and the staff that worked with him in uh, getting that agreement concluded. Thank you very much. Thank you. Item B, please. Concurrence with the Housing Board of Appeals notice in order to demolish the following public safety 1675 Pine Street Garage, Area 13, 845 Westdale Avenue, Area 12. Summary request. This is to request that the City Commission concur with the findings of the Housing Board of Appeals that the structures are unsafe, substandard, a public nuisance, and that they be demolished within 30 days. It is further requested that administration be directed to obtain bids for the demolition of the structures and that the mayor and city clerk be authorized and directed to execute a contract for demolition with the lowest responsible bidder. Staff recommendation to concur with the Housing Board of Appeals decision to demolish. Thank you. Is there anyone in the audience here to discuss either of these two properties? Commissioner Spataro. Thank you, Your Honor. I would move that we concur with the Housing Board um, notice to uh, uh, appeals notice in order to demolish the garage at 1675 Pine Street and the structures at 845 Westdale Avenue. Second. Thank you. It's been moved by Commissioner Spataro, supported by Vice Mayor Gowron, to concur with the Housing Board of Appeals notice in order to demolish the garage at 1675 Pine Street and the structures at 845 Westdale. Is there any discussion? Roll call, please. Mayor Warmington? Yes. Commissioner Hood? Yes. Commissioner Spataro? Yes. Commissioner German? Yes. Vice Mayor Gowron? Yes. Commissioner Waringo? Yes. Commissioner Turnquist? Yes. Motion passes. Thank you. Commissioners, do you have any other business? Commissioner Spataro? Just one item. Uh, this has been hanging out there, and I've talked about it a couple other times, yeah, particularly in light of staff uh, time involved and so on. I would like to see us put the matter of the request to exchange the property at Fisherman's Landing on the next work session or uh, commission meeting agenda so that we can give it a, a vote, uh, hopefully a vote down, that would be my preference, but a vote up or down so we can resolve this one way or the other. Uh, I just don't think it does anybody good to have it hanging out there. I, I agree with that. Uh, city manager and I've had some discussion on that as far as timing and we were looking at doing it at the April work session. Would you would that be all right with yeah. you? Okay. That's fine. And we'll take it up at the April work session then. Any other business commissioners? Mr. Page? I need for you to give your name and address please. My name is uh, Lauren Page. I live at 3328 Wilcox Avenue. Um, I'll, I'll be brief. <laughs> um, last week, Thursday, I was uh, heartened to see that the uh, Planning Commission uh, 
in their wisdom to, decided to deny the uh, use of uh, the SAPI property for the storage of, of uh, aggregate. Um, the, and I spoke at that meeting and, and reminded the uh, commission that the master plan is very clear as to the use of this property in two, maybe actually in three different parts of the master plan, it states that should the um, use of the property um, go from being a paper factory, it references uh, SD Warren, but uh, um, in passing on to SAPI, uh, also includes SAPI, uh, this property should not be continued in, as an industrial property. Right? Um, and I think that the uh, Planning Commission uh, um, understood that and, and saw fit to uh, deny the, uh, the aggregate pile, which certainly would have put the, the uh, situation there from a planning stage into an operational stage. Um, and I think that would have set some, some uh, dangerous precedents. Um, then that begs the question. If the planning, if the uh, master plan calls for this property to not be be um, continue as indus as industrial, then what should it what should it continue as? Right? And should the I two industrial zoning of that property, if it's not to continue to be industrial, I two also in, in, um, uh, includes I one. Uh, is that the proper zoning for that for that particular piece of property? Right? Um, I and a lot of other people think not. I've looked at the property, and you know, I'm not a planner, um, I'm not a lawyer, um, but I look at it. I try to look at it from a planner's uh, uh, perspective, and I look at the property, and I look to the immediate east of that property, and I see a large block of property zone uh, WM Waterfront Marine. I look to the west of that property and I see a lot of the properties, some are residential, but a lot of the properties, uh, Jensen Marina, Torreson Marina, um, zoned uh, Waterfront Marine. Right? Um, that would be one potential um, uh, um, zoning that uh, would fit uh, that uh, property. And when we look at property, I know, uh, I know that uh, planners look at fit and use, right? And that certainly would be a good fit for the property, um, and I believe it would be a good use for the property. Other potential um, uh, zonings for that property would be um, open, open space uh, recreation, which, is limit, which limits uh, the uh, use of the property uh, somewhat, and another potential um, uh, zoning would be open space conservation. In my opinion, open space conservation would not be a good fit for that property. Right? Mr. Melching owns the property. Right? Mr. Melching has a right to make uh, a living from that property. He has a right to operate a business, his bu a bus a business on that property. Right? Um, his business is demolition, and he's he's uh, um, already started in that business. And I wish him well in that business. I hope he takes all of that property, all of those stinky buildings, and does something uh, uh, um, uh, very uh, um, useful with them. Right? I might suggest shipping them back to South Africa. Um, but at any rate, he does own it. He does have a right to, uh, um, to operate the, uh, the building, but not under industrial zoning. Right? Uh, Waterfront Industrial um, uh, gives him a lot of, uh, of uh, uses for that building. Marinas, commissary facilities for marinas, municipal private beaches, retail businesses, restaurant cocktail lounges, hotels, motels, um, uh, under special uses, um, engine and hull repair shops, marine contracting, which falls into his somewhat loosely laid out plan. Commercial fishing and processing facilities, uh, seasonal recreation camper trailer parts and facilities, um, and other uses um, similar to the special land uses. So, I I'm not sure that, uh, and I'm, only, I'm I'm here 
working out of uh, ignorance to some extent. I'm not sure that the uh, city has taken any position or any action to change the zoning um, down there. Uh, I would hope that they have. That, that uh, property has been not used for industrial for over two years now. Um, and I think it's time, if we have not done so, that we take a look at it and uh, um, uh, um, take some action to, uh, uh, to change that zoning. I talked to Mr. Franzik. By the way, Mr. Franzik was very helpful um, in getting me some information. And uh, he uh, uh, gave me information uh, uh, um, that uh, pertained to uh, the, the uh, um, uh, changing of zoning. And... Uh, he said, and he, one of the uh, uh, section 2404 from zone changes and amendments states that the city, city commission may from time to time on recommendation from the planning co commission or on its own more motion or on petition, which means petition from the, uh, from the uh, uh, populace, right, uh, may uh, amend, supplement, modify, or change this ordinance according to the, with the authority of Act 204 and on and on. So I would hope that the, uh, uh, the city and the city commission would uh, take this upon themselves uh, to, uh, to look at the situation, to look at the rezoning of this, of this uh, property, to bring it into compliance with what the uh, um, uh, master plan uh, lays out. And thank you very much for your uh, for having me tonight. Thank you, Mr. Page. Mr. and Mrs. DeCamp. <coughs> My name's uh, Gary DeCamp. I live at uh, 475 West Webster, uh, which is in the Heritage Village uh, across from the Hackley Hume host, uh, home there. And the reason I'm before you today is several months ago, we uh, darkened all the street lamps and I, for one, I think it was the wrong move. Uh, we're trying to track tourism. Uh, you look at, uh, like, the airport, and you see a sign of the Hackley Hume home. You want people to come down to visit the area. And after nighttime, it's just a black hole there. So I'm really appealing to you to maybe cons reconsider. Um, I don't know what we have to do as uh, residents. If we can do something to assist, we're more than willing to do so. And I'd, I'd really like you to really uh, consider that. Mr. Spataro? Thank you. I would suggest that you talk to your neighbors, uh, Mr. McAllister and Mr. Wright, who are trying to put a proposal together um, to replace the funding. Um, those lights were not installed by the city. Um, they were installed by the Muskegon Heritage Association, and they were paying... Uh, most of the light bill for those and last year they notified us that they would no longer pay the bill to keep those lights turned on. Um, in residential areas we do not have mid-block lights unless there is a, a traffic uh, concern like at intersections. So they were working with the neighbors to put together um, uh, to see if there was enough interest to, to cover the cost of keeping the lights turned on. So I have not heard from them on that issue in the last couple of months, so I don't know where they are with that. I, I, has there been any contact with the staff on that? I had uh, contact, um, I believe uh, Mr. Wright contacted me um, a couple months ago about being um, before the city commission at a work session, and then... Um, uh, and that was scheduled, and then uh, he notified me again and indicated that they weren't quite ready to come uh, before you, and I haven't heard from them, so. And perhaps, perhaps I'm jumping the gun, because I've, I've spoke to Bill myself, oh, okay. and uh, I just wanted to get off the dime a little bit and try to get something going, and, and I really didn't know the correct procedure and how to get that going, so that's why I, I thought this would be the, okay. the avenue no to do so. Well, I mean, I think you thought right. Um, so perhaps if maybe you can let Bill know that you came before the board and okay. and what their plans are to go forward. Okay. Sort of let us know because we're sort of waiting on that. All right. Ourselves. We'll okay. do. Thanks Thank so you. much for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else that would care to address the commission tonight? How about that young Boy Scout back there? I want to acknowledge that young man for being here tonight. Thanks for being here. Anyone else care to speak? Commissioner Hood. 
If there's nothing else, I move to adjourn. Have a second? Second. Sure. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, right. right. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very much, everyone. Hey. Happy birthday. To you.